48. We heard Ross say it. Crews from the National Weather Service will be out there surveying the damage to confirm whether or not it was, in fact, a tornado that touched down. Yeah, they said we should have official word by about 4 o'clock today, so okay. we'll bring that to you as soon as we get it. It's, it was a really interesting setup yesterday because the Parameters for severe weather were very, very low yesterday. There were a couple of gusty showers that rolled through, but it doesn't take much for one little cell to spin up like that, and when it does, you get the threat for a tornado. So here's what the radar looked like. This is about 3 to 3.30 as this rolled through, and you can see most of these cells were sub-severe. They were gusty showers. That's about it. But that one red one, let's yeah. zoom in a little bit, that's the one that just turned briefly severe and started to exhibit rotation on the radar. Here's what that looks like. This is what we look for when we're watching a cell turn. And severe. You see it kind of split into two pieces there. And then we look at what we call velocity data. So, what you're looking at there, green shows the winds moving one direction, red shows the winds moving a different direction. When you see a bright green next to a bright red, to basically simplify it, that's when you know that a storm is exhibiting some sort of rotation. Winds ah, are moving okay. in different directions. And look how bright that is that bright green, that's very, very fast wind rotating around that bright red, which is very, very fast as well. There it is, just east of Lawrence. Uh, I want to thank meteorologist Bill Kelly who captured these images yesterday for us so we could take a look at it. But again, you can see how bright those returns are. When you see something like that, we call that a couplet, two kind of areas of differing wind. When you see that on radar, that's when a meteorologist is like, this is happening. Mm. This is very likely a tornado. If it's not on the ground, it is still likely producing damage. And while February tornadoes are rare, I think there have been four, not including yesterday, since 1950 in the state of New Jersey. The most wow. recent was in 1999. That was near Cherry Hill. And seven have been reported in Pennsylvania since 1950. So not completely unheard of, but when you're talking about 1950, there's only yeah. been four in New Jersey. You don't get that fair. And even tornadoes in general, we're seeing them a heck of a lot more. I don't remember them years ago. Well, now yeah. suddenly it's, it's, you know, commonplace. You know, I was looking at some of the data for Pennsylvania, and there was one in 2016, 2017, 2018. Not as many in previous years. Now, some of that is due to the reporting. We have much better yeah. tracking, much better radar, so we may have missed a few, but it does seem like. Anytime we have a severe weather threat now, we have to be on alert for a tornado. And again, like you, growing up around here, I don't remember this happening. No, yeah. like no. It is now. exactly. Well, the good news is that nobody was hurt in this most recent uh, exactly. storm yesterday, but a whole lot of cleanup ahead for the people who are affected and impacted. So we'll wait to Indeed. see what the National Weather Service has to say later today. Yeah, Kate. thank you, Kate. We'll let you know. All right, thanks, Kate.